Okay, good afternoon. Richard Berry here from the Good Broker Guide. Today we're going to do a quick run through of the Saxo Trader Go platform uh, from Saxo Capital Markets. If you're not familiar with um, Saxo, they were formed in the early 90s. Um, their capital markets division has generally historically dealt with institutional and professional traders, but um, over the last couple of years they've uh, opened it up to smaller retail customers. So you can now open a trading account with 15, uh, 1500 pounds and still get access to the same uh, assets, tools, analysis, research and so on um, as bigger traders. Today we'll just do a quick run through, we'll go through the uh, assets you can trade on the platform, uh, some of the uh, charting options, um, what you can trade, how you can trade it, um, the news and research that's on offer as well as uh, some of the account, uh, the key account features as well. We'll go into um, slightly greater depth um, on some of the indi individual features um, on follow-up videos, but for, for, for this one it will just be a nice, uh, a nice overview. Uh, if you're not familiar with the Good Broker Guide, um, just go to goodbrokerguide.co.uk, based in London. Um, we review and compare brokers, um, only decent FCA regulated brokers. Um, if you're a Saxo customer or uh, you go on to use them, do come back to the site and uh, leave the room a review on uh, trading platform, customer service spreads and pricing. It'd be helpful for other traders to make informed decisions about uh, who to trade with. And um, if you're interested in what's going on in the brokerage world in general, we um, uh, cover um, all the key feature releases. Uh, there's some CEO interviews on there as well. Um, <clears throat> and, uh, and just general sort of news and views on the, uh, on the industry. Okay, so back to uh, Saxo Trader Go. Uh, this is the sort of screen you're you're presented with when you uh, when you first open the platform. You've got um, some of the popular assets um, preset for you, um, some forex pairs, some big um, U.S. and uh, U.K. stocks, as well as some of the key uh, European and U.S. industries, and uh, and gold as well. It's a very versatile platform. You can trade. Um, Plenty of foreign exchange pairs, CFDs, lots of regional uh, equity CFDs. Um, you've got uh, CFDs on commodities, um, obviously the major softs, metals, energies, and so on. Um, got CFDs on indices, um, so you can pretty much get exposure to any region you want through uh, through CFD products there. Oh, actually, sorry, just 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 on that point. Um, CFDs, complex instrument, a lot of risk when trading them. Most people lose money, so it's important that you understand the risks before you get going. Be educated, have a strategy, um, and never ever trade with money you can't um, afford to lose. So we'll just uh, just highlight highlight that there for the purposes of compliance. Um, where are you? CFD indices, uh, mutual funds, so you've got cash mutual funds, cash stocks as well. Um, if you are an investor as well as a trader, um, you can buy uh, cash uh, cash stocks as well. Um, you've got nice level two pricing uh, if you're putting a particularly big order through. Um, you've got on exchange futures, um, so commodities, you've got all the general softs. Uh, where were the commodities? Uh, yeah, on on exchange on exchange commodities. Um, if you don't fancy trading CFDs, and uh, bu 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 bu, uh, got bonds as well, um, which you can trade as either a fixed income future or derivative, or you can hold them in your portfolio and just uh, collect the coupons if uh, if you've got a fixed income uh, fixed income trading strategy. We'll just quickly go through uh, one of the nice features for um, equities, as with all. Um, as with all the major brokers, you can get the um, uh, top 100 uh, FTSE shares. People tend to call it UK uh, CFDs or, or FTSE 100, uh, rather than FTSE 100 because of the um, uh, FTSE licensing fees. Um, you can sort by daily move, which is always quite nice. So you can flick through um, the shares that are on the app, um, either on a daily basis, monthly basis, three monthly basis. It's always nice to look who's, um, who's on the way down. Uh, for example, we'll put a trade on here, so I'll just give you an example of um, stocks that are going down. We were playing about with this earlier, but um, for the purposes of the review, um, we'll put Barclays trade on. Um, so if you look on Barclays, you get the uh, chart up on the side, uh, level two uh, market pricing as well for big orders. You've got intraday 
market data if you move your positions tab a little bit lower you've got uh, trading signals courtesy of auto chartist we'll have a quick look at those later uh, consensus buy that's from fact set uh, research big research provider and also the news where, where barclays features as well so i mean just looking at barclays not doing too well today not doing too well over the month not doing too well over six months so for the purposes of this we'll, we'll, we'll put a short on um so you've got barclays last trade bid offer order types you've got market limit stop stop limit so we, we're not going to do a big trade so we'll just put a um a small one on um for the purpose of this how much is ten thousand uh so ten thousand that's seventeen thousand pounds worth of um Barclays shares, uh, initial margin available, that's what we've got. That's going to eat up uh, three and a half thousand in initial margin. And to put the trade on, we need an extra uh, 1700 quid in the account to uh, uh, for maintenance margin. That's the sort of PL uh, that you have to cover. Also, another important thing uh, worth looking at that they highlight, which a lot of other brokers don't do, is um, overnight financing. Uh, you'll get charged pound uh, 76 a day uh, if you hold the position overnight and uh, intraday. Uh, even on a short position where you historically received interest because libel is so low, you'll get charged. So if we want to sell a thousand at market, we can see there's plenty of size there. So we'll just hit sell. It gives us all the um, pertinent info. And there we go, we're done. So we can see that uh, we've sold 10,000 at uh, uh, 172 and uh, been charged £17.25 commission. Um, important point here actually, Saxo charge commission rather than um, widen the spreads. So you do get the bid offer spreads with level two as well. Uh, I mean, obviously actually are pretty tight, but if you're working orders, you can actually get on the order book. Um, so you get raw pricing, but um, you do uh, you do get charge commission. Uh, charts, pretty decent charts, fairly, um, fairly standard. Most brokers have the same sort of thing. Lots of, uh, you know, different types of charts, different indicators, you know, you can draw bits and bobs on it. If you're, if you're that way inclined, you can separate the chart out. Um, if you're trading on multiple screens, you can, um, uh, you can have three, I think you can have up to four screens on the go. Uh, another interesting feature of, uh, Saxo, of course, is the, uh, is the option chain. So if you, uh, if you're predominantly long, Barclays shares, for example, you want to buy a bit of protection below the market. Uh, they go all the way out, I think, to 2020, 2023. So you can uh, you can buy puts and calls all the way out. If there's a price on exchange, you can uh, you can trade it. Uh, on to news and research. They've got a lot of added value on this platform. It's uh, it's a a workhorse. It's not changed much over the. Um, uh, over 10 years or so, but it has had a nice facelift. So you've now got this nice, like Bloomberg feel. You can obviously, uh, if you if you want, uh, change it to, to, to white. But uh, traders historically, it's um, you know, feels uh, feels it feels a bit nicer uh, in dark. So you can look at the uh, major indices, um, what's going on, major rises, major fallers. You've got all the uh, trade signals, news, economic calendar, uh, which is always um, always handy. You um, you need to know what's going on in the market when figures are being released, especially if you've got foreign exchange positions going on. Nice um, nice news flow. Um, there's three providers coming through at the moment: News Edge and Ranscorp. But you of course can um, can add providers. Saxo as well. Um, they've got their own website, tradingfloor.com, uh, where their analysts uh, wish on about the markets all day. So they they um, produce a lot of stimulus. Obviously, it's an execution only broker. They can't tell you what to buy or what to sell, but they can can't highlight potential trading opportunities. They have a few videos on here as well. Let's see if we can find one. The morning call. That looks like it. So there you go. So you've got nice, um, nice videos where their analysts have a uh, have have a witter if you want to uh, if you want to see what's going on. Uh, again, you've got the economic calendar. If you double click on one, that'll should. Uh, it's not at the moment, but it should go through to their um, uh, their trading floor. Oh, here we go. You click on that, it goes through to their uh, trading floor. Um, so a little bit of information about that particular indi uh, economic indicator and uh, and what could happen. And also trading signals as well, uh, which is sought by when the last one was identified. Euro, um, Euro sterling, for example. What's this? Channel down, channel down identified. So there you go. If you think it's going down, um, you can put a little sell order on. Uh, for the purposes of the review uh, of this review, we'll put a trade on. Obviously, you've got um, 
limit stop limit we'll just put a hundred thousand at market so there we go uh, two point uh, 2,900 we need, 1,400 maintenance, that's fine. So we'll just put a little um, Forex order on. Um, and let's do, let's do an index one as well. Um, let's buy that um, just for the purposes um, of the account section, which I'll show you in a minute. Another nice feature, stock screener as well. Um, obviously there's lots of third party stock screeners out there. Company refs, for example, from the late great uh, Jim Slater, uh, an old client of mine when I was at Man, uh, True Gent. Um, in fact, when I was at Man, we had a lot of mutual clients um, with Saxo, so it's um, it's a broker um, that does cater for slightly more sophisticated traders. You can sort of filter by market cap, dividend yield, and so on, um, which is um, uh, a nice bit of kit uh, to have included uh, for free. Then moving on to the account section, you've obviously got uh, lots of subscriptions, so you can get level one, level two data, and so on for all the various exchanges. Um, if you trade a particular exchange regularly, um, corporate actions, for example, you've got um, lots of um, uh, lots of lots of interesting features. Um, Moving on to the uh, portfolio section, this is this is quite interesting. So, so this gives you a nice visual overview of uh, what's happening in your account. So you can see where your your overall exposure is. Um, for example, foreign exchange, um, CFDs, and obviously where we're making and losing money. Uh, we're losing money on everything, um, which is fine. That's just uh, the nature nature of trading. Um, but it does it does give you a good visual rep representation of um, uh, of where your positions are. Historic reports as well, lots of um, audit uh, trail tools here um, that you can go back uh, and review your account. You've also, as I mentioned earlier, you've got fixed income products so you can see where your fixed income uh, income is coming from. You can check out your uh, CFD financing and so on. Um, we are, a lot of brokers don't show you this, so it's quite uh, it's quite nice to have it all uh, all on one screen um, deposits and transfers for example you can um, put money in your account by credit card uh, debit uh, sorry <coughs> debit card and, and wire transfer I don't think they take uh, I don't think they take credit cards well um, you have to check that with them sometimes they do sometimes they don't so there you go that's um, a quick little overview of um, the Saxo go platform uh, if you do give it a go, do go on to um, Good Broker Guide and uh, leave them a review. You can also compare uh, Saxo against uh, other brokers as well. Um, if you have any questions for us, do um, uh, do just ask. We'll um, we'll answer them on the website. And uh, feel free to uh, just browse the website, and go through any of the uh, sections you want. Um, before we go, let's just bring up our open positions let's just close those off because we don't want to lose any more money than we already are there we go okay right well thanks for watching any comments um, questions just uh, come to the website uh, ask uh, we're here to help many thanks Bye. one thing um, one thing, sorry, I did actually forget to mention is the uh, research. Um, we touched on it briefly, but let's just uh, go back to Barclays, for example. So here, Barclays got the option chain charts overview. Um, let's just hide that market depth, bring this down a bit. Um, and over here, open equity research. Um, so as well as technical analysis, you've also got a fair amount of uh, fundamental analysis um, that's produced. We'll just give that a while to load up, um, which is which is quite interesting, actually. As I said, a lot of this stuff is available um, elsewhere. This is um, source from fact set, but it's just uh, nice to have it um, consolidated into your account. So, um, so when you are trading, you don't have to have, um, uh, multiple, um, uh, multiple browsers open, uh, lots of pertinent, per pertinent fundamental information. You've got, um, broker referrals, uh, broker recommendations, of course, there as well. And then, uh, general information, financials, um, 
and you can sort of delve quite deeply into the fundamentals um, of the company. Um, in particular, this is quite interesting. Barclays um, uh, relative to um, uh, relative to its um, competitors uh, within the industry, it's quite um, quite handy for pairs trading. Um, so there you go, comparable companies: B, uh, BNP, Citigroup. Uh, it's nice if you want to um, put some uh, pair charts up. All right, many thanks. Uh, many thanks again.